Titans hosting the Bengals, and the Bengals are two and a half point road favorites. The over under is at 40 and a half. The Bengals are minus 146 on the money line, and the Titans are plus 124. Now, these are pre kickoff lines. They're bound to change one way or another, depending upon how people do early on in the morning or just uh, how much people decide to bet on this game. Both of these teams are one and two overall. The Bengals are zero, two, and one against the spread. And the under is 2-1 and one in the three games they've played in. The Titans are 2-1 and one against the spread. And the under is 2-1 and one in the games in which they've played in. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Bengals are 6-2 and two against the Titans in their last eight meetings. The Bengals are on a three-game winning streak against them. The road team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 4-4. Four and four. The underdog is 6-2 and two against the spread. The underdog is 5-3 five and, five and three on the money line. The under is hitting their last two. The under is six and two. And the over under at 40 and a half is four and four. There have been a couple of games that hit 41. So if you see this game go up to 41, then we've had one, two, two games hit 41 exactly. So then it would be four, two, and two, the under. Now, the Bengals are seven and three in their last 10 games. They are four, four, and two against the spread. And the under is six and four in their last 10. For whatever the reason is, the Browns just own them. They stomped them week one, 24-3. Then they played the Ravens. No surprise there. It was a close game. They lost by a field goal. Then they beat the Rams 19-16. And that was a game, I don't want to say it was a must win early on in this season, but they definitely, definitely needed that game. And for the Titans, they're 1-9 overall in their last 10. They are 3-5-2 against the spread, and the under is 7-3 in their last 10. Losing to the Saints... 16-15, then beating the Chargers, which was an absolute surprise to me, and then losing to the Browns and getting washed by the Browns, 27-3. It seems like they've forgotten how to use Derrick Henry, or when they're using him, they're using him so ineffectively because they have no passing game that teams will just load the box and say, make Ryan Tannehill or whatever the hell they're going to throw at quarterback try to beat them. I'm going to take the Bengals with the money line. I'm going to take the Bengals laying the points. And I'm going to go over in this game at 40 and a half. I think at 41, it possibly pushes. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.